Notes for limiting reactant, excess reactant, and percentage yield. Examples 12 through 15. Take a moment, pause the video, and write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction of iron sulfate plus chromium borate reacts to form. Pause the video, write at the top of your notes page a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. This is what you should have gotten. It doesn't matter what order these two are added in. You can have them in any order. So write them and check it. Make sure that it matches up with what I have. And now we're going to calculate the molar masses for all of these. These are the molar masses for each of these. Make sure you put the proper molar mass underneath the proper chemical. So again, these can be written in the reverse order, meaning CR, three CRs could be over here and four FEs could be over here. But write the molar mass underneath and we'll begin number 12. Number 12 says, if 102.5 grams of iron sulfate reacts with 145.2 grams of chromium borate, borate, what is limiting reactant? Let's define limiting reactant. Limiting reactant is a reactant that's used up first. The reactant that produces the least amount of product. The reactant that produces the least amount of product. So my choice for answering this question, the answer to this question can be one of two things. Either this reactant, iron sulfate, or this reactant, chromium borate. It does not require a numeric value here. It's asking about a reactant. Once you know the limiting reactant, it, it is what you start every problem with. All stoichiometric problems must be started with the limiting reactant. Up until this point, we've done that because I have either given you only one start or I've told you what was an excess. Therefore, by default, you knew what was limiting. One more time, limiting reactant is whichever reactant is used up first. Another way of looking at it is the limiting reactant is whichever one of these reactants, starting with 102 of this and 145 of this, produces the least amount of a product. We're going to pick either product. Okay, if this was a problem on a worksheet, you could pick either product. I'm going to show you how it doesn't matter which product you picked. The limit. All right, so this shows two options you'd have. You would not do both. You'd either do the set of ink in black or the blue ink. You would take each reactant, 102.5 grams of iron sulfate and 145 grams of chromium, bro chromium borate, and take it to the same comparison point. Take it to the same uh, product. So I would either take 102.5 grams of iron borate and 145 grams of chromium bromate and take it to this product, iron borate, or I would take my same two starts, 102.5 iron sulfate and 145.2 2 chromium borate and take it to chromium sulfate, the other product. So you wouldn't do both, you do one or the other. But to model that it doesn't matter which one, I've done all of these for you. So we've done a stoichiometric grid taking our limiting reactants to, excuse me, not taking, but to establish our limiting reactants, we take each of our reactants to the same comparison point. So I took these two to this comparison point, or I could have taken the same two starts to this comparison point but I took them both to one or the other product. If it doesn't specify which one you need, it doesn't matter which one you go to. So once you've done your grids for either the set in black or the set in blue, you would see which one produced the least amount of products. So when I took uh, them and I went to iron borate, I got um, 58.77 as my smallest. If I would have taken um, the two starts to chromium sulfate, I got 93 as my smallest between the two, okay? So, again, remember, you're either doing the black set or the blue set. You would not do both. So, both of these tell us that the least amount is produced here for iron borate. And if I start with these, the same two starts, but go to chromium sulfate, 93.86 is the least amount. So, therefore, we know the limiting reactant in both cases is iron sulfate. Iron sulfate produces the least amount here and iron sulfate also produce the least amount of chromium sulfate. So my limiting reactant is this reactant right here, as proven by the fact that the limiting reactant is whichever reactant produces the least amount. Between these two reactants, iron sulfate produced the least amount of iron borate. If I would have taken these two reactants and gone to chromium sulfate, iron sulfate produced the least amount of chromium sulfate. So my limiting reactant in this case is iron sulfate, my excess reactant is the up by default, the other reactant, therefore, chromium borate.